Rev up your engines! Now today I'm taking a little different slant. Today I'm showing you some of the products that I tried out that failed miserably. And I wouldn't tell anybody to buy them. Because yes, I have a lot of junk in my garage. And to tell you the truth, some of this new stuff that people sent me is exactly that. Junk. And the first one is this F1Z power launcher. Look at this thing. The theory behind this power launcher, F1Z, is it spins and creates turbulent air. You're supposed to put it inside your air duct where the air goes into the engine. And then as the air sucked in, it's supposed to spin it around and make it work better and put more air and make your engine faster. Well, <laughs> this thing's total nonsense. All it's basically doing is creating a little bit of a restriction to the air going to the, your engine. If anything, it'll make your car run worse, not better. Yes turbochargers and superchargers that ram more air into the engine. They do work for power. They have an external source of power. The turbochargers use your exhaust gas to spin it and the superchargers use a fan belt on your engine that spins the supercharger that compresses the air and then throws it into the engine. So stay away from the F1Z. It's just a scam. Don't waste your money. I've seen people waste their money on it. Don't waste yours. Now the next thing not to waste your money on is the BT Master Battery Voltage Monitor Tester. It's supposed to test your battery, your cranking system for the starter, and the alternator. But it's got numerous problems. The biggest one is the app was this thing called BT Master app. I couldn't even get the phone to communicate with it. And I got an S9. It's a pretty good phone. I also have three or four others. I tried them all. None of them would even upload the app so it would interface with the device itself. Now, since I couldn't even get the app to work, it was some kind of crazy generic app. I went to Amazon and saw their reviews. And the weird thing was, there were 10 reviews. Nine of them were saying how great it was. But one said, one star. Don't believe the lies. <laughs> <laughs> and the other nine, they all praised and said how great it was. But they were all written between two days in January this year. It's kind of obvious that they were just seeding it with their own reviews. And unfortunately, I see that all the time, especially with devices that require an app. Now to show you the difference, these are both supposed to do the same thing, battery charging system analyzer. This Foxwell, hey, it's a self-enclosed unit. It goes on the battery. As you can see, it's got pretty thick wires. Look how cheesy the wires are on this other one. But the main thing is this is a standalone device. You hook it up, check your battery and charging system. This thing, it hooks up. It has this little unit inside, but then there's an app that's supposed to go back and forth on your phone in order to do the analysis. Why on earth would you make a device that's contained here and then have to beam it with an app to your phone and hope that the thing works. It's just stupid. You would make a standalone device that does it all itself like the Foxwell. Why would you want to make something like this very cheaply made? You can tell the wires are thinner. It's got cheap construction to it. And then have an app that's some kind of generic app that's used by testers to run their equipment. I see these apps not work all the time. In this case, the saying, you get what you pay for, is totally true. Now this may only be $39.95, but it didn't even work. Where the Foxwell is generally $130 or so, it works fantastic. There are times when, if you want something that actually works, you pay the price of a quality tool and you get it. Don't just think you're gonna get quality, like this machine has, it's gonna check batteries and charging systems, but you're gonna be able to get it for like, one quarter of the price of one that actually works. And that's the main reason I'm showing this on my video because I literally have scores of devices like this that are made in China that have an app. The app doesn't work or it does once in a while, sometimes not other. And then when you do get the app to work and you try the device and compare it to one like the Foxwell that I know works quite well, and they get completely different data. They often give false data. So in the case of this BT battery monitor, believe the one bad review that said, don't believe all this hype. Now I've talked about these devices before that don't work. This is the XY4 Plus key finder. It's supposed to put on your keys, your phone has an app. Well, it was an absolute pile of junk. I bought it through Amazon and I complained 
later on last year and now I look on Amazon they don't even sell the XY4 Plus anymore because they realized that it was a scam and they took it off their site. So when it comes to buying tech items these days, especially newer ones, don't believe hype that people are going to say whether it's advertising or one of the 10 best tools of 2018, whatever nonsense people are throwing out to them. Find somebody like me who's tried them out or read serious reviews about it before you throw your money out because unfortunately there's a lot of junk out there on the internet. Now the next thing not to buy is this Zato Atomic Metal Conditioner. It's supposed to revitalize your engine while you drive. Now snake oil salesmen have been around probably for centuries but this one takes it to an extreme. Listen to what it claims it does. Restores worn engine metals Compensates the ongoing wear of parts. Provides parts protection against loads. Reduces noise. Improves the lubricating properties of oil. Increases the engine life service band. Reduces fuel consumption. Increases engine power and acceleration. Now is that too good to be true? Well yeah, of course it is. I contacted the company and said, hey, give me some scientific evidence that this stuff works. Real scientists that I can talk to or email back and forth and check their credentials to make sure they're real. And guess what? I never heard from them again. <laughs> Years ago, I did have a company that was selling some of the snake oil, and they actually gave me this university professor his email and his phone number. So I got a hold of the guy, and he said, I don't know where those guys got my name from, but I would never back up some snake oil thing like that. I'm a scientist, I'm a university professor. I'd lose my job if I was fine selling snake oil, then there's no proof that it helps your car. So I told that to the company, and guess what? I never heard from them again either. <laughs> now, years ago, there were some products out there, I'm talking about the 1970s, 60s. You put the additive in, and it had metal in it and the metal would bond onto worn piston rings and stuff and it actually did that to some extent but you'd never want to do that in a modern engine they got variable valve timing they have all kinds of trick things with small little holes in them and if you get metal building up in those holes they could clog up your engine and blow the whole thing so believe me stay away from these miracle snake oil additives that are going to rebuild your engine you're taking a chance you have no idea what's inside these things and in many cases these things can be 20 30 40 dollars a bottle it's just a scam now since this is mechanic monday i'm going to be giving a product away but i am not evil i'm not going to give away one of these snake oil additives or products that don't work i'm giving away the 140 dollar foxwell battery analyzer that's a good tool to have a chance to win just place a non-offensive comment on the youtube comments below and a winner will be chosen randomly by my computer to win an actual battery and charging system analyzer that works so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell